bills start to come in when you when you've got a um, investment portfolio and you've got 13 odd properties or, or however many you've got you get bills for things and and the very simple thing is to just pay them and um, just move just move on do you want to talk about I guess if we start with tree lopping at one of your properties that was that was quite a good story Okay, so um, uh, there's a particular property that um, I got photographs from the uh, from the real estate saying that there are trees uh, encroaching on the property, leaning on the guttering, and potentially going to cause a big problem. The the, the tenant um, uh, uh, yeah, brought up the issue, and uh, and, and the real estate took some photos and sent them through to me. Uh, I'm looking at the photos, being a, uh, a landscaper, and um, uh, I sort of know what things are worth a little, um, which is a bit of an advantage. Um, and not really understanding why the quote is, uh, doesn't match the, the scope of works. Um, so I talked to the real estate and say, listen, you know, can we get another quote and just double check this? Uh, which he does. And uh, in a pretty similar price it comes back. And I'm like, wow, man, Queensland, they're really making some money up there. <laughs> um, uh, I then decide I'm going to ring a mate. I'm going to ring a mate who um, uh, 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 who I can trust to get an independent value on, on what this is. So, so he goes out and uh, gets another tree lopper to have a look at it for me. Um, uh, the price came out at less than a third of, uh, of the original. So the original quote was for 1800 and I ended up getting it done for $450. Um, uh, and that, that's just one property. There was another property where um, uh, tenants hadn't been in for a while and um, uh, I decided to get a lawn mowing uh, uh, guy to go out. And this all came about because um, I got a bill for the previous uh, uh, month of uh, $380 for a lawn mowing on a residential property. And I thought, wow, that's, that's some serious lawn mowing they must have done. Um, uh, so, uh, so I organised it. Uh, just by a stroke of luck, um, I actually rang the exact same person that the, um, that the real estate had run. Uh, so when, when he gets out to the property, could I ask him, can you go out and price up this uh, lawn mowing for me? He gets out there and realises that I actually mowed this a month ago for you. Um, and I go, well, how come you quote $65 today and a month ago I got a bill for 380 Yeah, well, you didn't. I only it was $65 last time as well. What are you talking about? Uh, so so there, there was a real estate taking a certain percentage there. <laughs> so that's where it comes to managing your managing agent. If you if you just pay the eighteen hundred to have a branch lopped, you know, and the the real estate's not doing the right thing by you, um, you know, you're paying an extra thousand dollars that you don't need to be paying. And so it's really managing your managing agent where you don't feel like you, you're down here and you don't feel like you should be doing that. That's what you're paying your five, six, seven percent for. But this is the reality of, of what's happening. Um, you're getting charged $1,800 to do a $400 job. You're getting charged $365 in lawn mowing when it only costs $65. And a lot of this time, if it's under $500, they'll just take it out of your, out of your rent and it just shows up on your, on your statement. So you've really got to spend some time and have a look at what you're getting charged and ask for the quotes. Um, I've got high pages on my phone now. It's the app where you just go, it's got all the different trades and you can just go bang. I mean, you know, Waterford, I need a uh, tree lopped and someone can go, you get four, come back to you in five minutes and say, this is what the price is. So it's, you've got to take a bit of initiative yourself um, to be able to say, this is what I think it's worth. So as Ross says, it's, property isn't a set and forget um, model but it's a set and don't worry but you've got to be involved it's not a, it's not a passive investment um, where and that's annoying because you're paying a fee for somebody but that's actually the reality isn't it unless you're going for a defense force housing or something along those lines where you know you're paying up front at 20 percent to you know, uh, uh, commission for them to uh, to take care of everything and when the tenant moves out they'll paint it recarpet it that sort of things um, if, the, if the washing machine blows up, well then they'll replace it as part of that uh, 20%. So, so that, that would be the only scenario where I go, well, that I can see of anyway, that to, to set and forget, or at least for the length of the, uh, the loan, uh, the lease, sorry. Um, uh, but, you know, there's a few things I've learned in, 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 in finding an agent now, which is a bit 
you know, I'm a little bit more vigilant about it. Um, uh, I, I definitely like to interview my um, uh, agent and, uh, and uh, uh, find out how many people do they have on their rent roll, find out um, uh, how many staff are actually looking after rents and how long have that staff been there. Are they people that are you know, 16 years of age and just straight out of school? Uh, or, or are they people that have um, uh, uh, been there for the last five or ten years and uh, have got an invested interest in the business? Um, uh, I, I, I really like to be able to have the one person to talk to. So um, uh, when, I, when I appoint an agent uh, to look after my property, I'll, uh, I'll say, okay, well, who is it that actually I'm going to be talking to? If I've got a problem, who am I ringing? Um, uh, when it comes up to re-let, let, uh, 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 who, who do I talk to? Because I only want to talk to the one person. So then I can, uh, uh, that, that behind the scenes, I know in reality they're running a company and, and, and I don't mind who's you know, showing the house and who's doing whatever else. But, but I want to talk to the one person. I want to know what's going on, be able to ring them up, know that, uh, that, that I'm on their phone and it comes up as Scott McManus whenever it, uh, <coughs> it comes up. And, uh, and and, and uh, they're going to pick up the phone. Um, I'm, I'm not a hard ass to anybody. I, I try and be fair and nice and understand that everyone's out there to do a business. But but I, want, I do want to be able to praise one person and I want to be able to fry one person. So that that's big for me. Um, so you removed all your properties from that managing agent, and you, have you transferred them all to another one agent? I have. Yes. Um, and the way I went about that was. Um, uh, uh, I, I first started, a lot of my properties are in a fairly uh, central location, so they're, they're not too far from each other. So I, so I felt comfortable about having the one agent look after all of them. Um, but I started um, uh, researching on uh, 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 real estate and domain uh, that uh, who, who had properties for rent, uh, who, who was a uh, dominant in that area, um, and uh, uh, found, found two or three that I felt that were um, uh, uh, you know, really dominant in the area. Um, then, then rang up and asked to speak to who, who is in charge of all of the, the rentals. Uh, so you, you're talking to not just somebody, you're talking to the person that's uh, running the team. Um, from there I'll ask them questions like I mentioned before, how many do you have on your rental role, how many staff do you have and those sort of things. Um, uh, uh, I, I, I put them all together so that we can um, um, uh, again have everything. I, I put all my properties with one so I can um, uh, uh, have, a, have, have a one paperwork and, and that in line really easily. Um, another thing I ask to see is, is can I have a look at a statement? Some statements are really difficult to make head and tail of. So having a, having a statement that is, is really clear. So my, my current one. Um, um, uh, the very first page that comes up on my email is uh, uh, how much came in, how much came out, how much was deposited, and then it goes into the statement. But that's the very first thing that comes up. So I can have a glance, sort of go, okay, what's going on here? Um, so, so that's been really helpful. Yeah.